Hi, I'm Julie Braga. I am a physician in the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology here at Dartmouth-Hitchcock, and I head up the Division of General Obstetrics and Gynecology here in Lebanon. I'm here today to talk to pregnant healthcare workers who may be considering getting the COVID-19 vaccine. You know, first of all, I'd just like to say how thrilled and relieved we are to now be given access to the vaccine. Um, it just really feels wonderful. And I think for many of us in healthcare, we feel like getting vaccinated will be an opportunity to you know, not only make ourselves and our families safer, but also make our patients safer. We healthcare providers feel that it is important for pregnant and breastfeeding women to be offered an opportunity to get the vaccine. Whether or not you get the vaccine is really a personal decision and we encourage everyone to reach out to their provider and talk to their provider about whether or not it's right for you. There's a lot to consider and essentially you're balancing what are the potential benefits of getting the vaccine and those obviously include excellent protection against the coronavirus um, with the potential risks of getting the vaccine. Unfortunately, we don't have the data to say definitively yes or no whether the vaccine is safe during pregnancy. Pregnant and breastfeeding women were not included in either the Moderna or the Pfizer vaccine trials. And you know this is commonly the case of clinical trials that pregnant women are specifically excluded. So therefore we can't say for certain that pregnant women would not have complications from the vaccine. However, from what we know about the technology used in the vaccine, there is no reason to believe that it would be dangerous for pregnant women or their babies. The vaccine does not have a high likelihood of crossing the placenta, so we think that there's a very low chance that the vaccine particles would even get to the baby. And from what we know about the technology used in the vaccine, the mRNA type of vaccine does not go into a cell nucleus and cause genetic changes. So therefore, there's really no reason to think that it would be dangerous to a developing fetus. The other thing to really strongly consider in taking the vaccine is how the coronavirus affects pregnant women. We know from recent data that pregnant women are potentially more likely to have complications when they get the virus itself. It seems that pregnant women, when compared to non-pregnant women with similar age and similar characteristics, are more likely to have a severe course of the illness. They're more likely to end up in the intensive care unit and more likely to need mechanical ventilation, ECMO, and more likely to die. So these are obviously important things to consider if you are in a profession where you're exposed to patients with coronavirus. Other things to consider may be your personal risk factors um, if you were to get the illness. And some of the things that have been identified in pregnant women as potentially complicating their course of illness are things like diabetes, obesity, and being at an older age at the time of being pregnant. So these are all things that may be helpful for you to discuss individually with your provider. The vaccines do seem to have some common side effects, um, including fatigue, feeling um, muscle aches, headaches, things like that. Um, a certain percentage of people will also have a fever after getting the vaccine. And this is important because it's not healthy for pregnant women to have a high fever during pregnancy because it may be harmful to a fetus. So if you get the vaccine and you get a fever, we recommend that you take acetaminophen or Tylenol to reduce that fever. Acetaminophen is perfectly safe during pregnancy and it also doesn't change the body's response to the vaccine. Having these symptoms is a sign that the vaccine is working and that those antibodies are getting made against the virus. The benefits of the vaccine is that it protects very well against the COVID-19 virus. The studies show that both the Moderna and the Pfizer vaccines have very high efficacy and that it reduces your chance of getting the virus substantially. 
It's not yet known whether getting the vaccine prevents passing the virus along, and it's not known how long the effects of the vaccine last. At this time, it's still recommended that vaccinated individuals still practice social distancing and continue to wear their PPE, their masks, and reduce their contacts to people with the illness. Currently, it is recommended that people receive both doses of the vaccine in order for it to be effective. Your risk may be higher if you live in a community where there's a lot of COVID spread or you work in a high risk setting such as in healthcare or on the front lines in the community. The vaccine is being given first to healthcare workers, many of whom may be pregnant or considering pregnancy or may be breastfeeding. We are definitely recommending that women who are breastfeeding highly consider getting vaccinated. It seems that the potential benefits of breastfeeding women getting vaccinated far outweigh the more theoretical risks of the vaccine during breastfeeding. There's really no reason to think that this vaccine would be dangerous while lactating. It's also important to note that you do not have to stop breastfeeding or take a break from breastfeeding if you get the vaccine. The only people who should not be vaccinated are those who've had a severe allergic reaction to a vaccine in the past. Pregnancy is not considered a contraindication for the vaccine. Whether or not you decide to get the vaccine during pregnancy is a very personal decision, and we want to support you in making that decision. If you decide not to get vaccinated during pregnancy, you can talk to your provider and make a plan for getting vaccinated after you deliver. Either way, it's important that you continue to maintain social distancing and perform frequent hand hygiene, use your mask and your proper PPE to stay safe for you and your baby during this pregnancy.